Hi everyone and welcome back to Thermodynamics 2 Tutorials from Maria. We're going to be solving a, a diesel combustion process with the heat losses at a constant pressure. We are told that a diesel engine uses dirty cane for fuel and the fuel and air enters the engine at 25 degrees Celsius. The products are going to live at 600 kelvins and 200% theoretical air is used. We are asked to determine the work for the fuel flow per kilo, kilomol per hour. In the previous video, we have found that if we have a fuel and air, have to find the amount of theoretical air, and we found 18.5 in the last equation. So what we have to do is we first assume that for theoretical air, there's no oxygen in the product, and we're going to have 4, 1, 2, 3, and this amount. We're going to be able to solve, and if we do that, we're going to have find 18.5. And in this case, we are told that we use 200% of theoretical air. So this is theoretical air, and we're using 200%. So that's going to be 2. Now we're going to have four announce of four equations, so we can actually solve for all our values. So if we write for the carbon, we're going to have 12 is equals to x. For h, we're going to have 26 equals to 2y. So y is going to be 13. And then for o, we're going to have 2 times 8 18.5 times 2 from the oxygen equals to 2, 2x plus y plus 2z. x we found is 12, y we found is 13. And we're going to find the value of z of 18.5. And now for nitrogen, we're going to have 2 times 18.5 times 3.76. It's going to be equals to W. And we're going to find a value of the W of 139.12. If you're not sure how we got the 18.5, just go back to the previous video and follow the steps. So now we can write the energy balance. So we know that the change in energy of a system is going to be equal to the energy out minus the energy in. And in this case, because it's steady flow, we know it's going to be equal to zero. So we can rewrite this as Q in minus Q out plus work in minus work out is going to be equal to the U of the product minus U of reactants. And we can recall that we can rewrite this as H minus PV. And we can neglect PV for solids and liquids, so this can be zero in our case. And we can rewrite this as the number of moles times the enthalpy of formation plus the enthalpy of the situation minus the reference enthalpy. And we can rewrite this equation as heat in minus work out equals to the sum of the product and P H enthalpy min plus H enthalpy minus H minus the reactants. So now we need to find the enthalpies for all the compounds. Uh, for our reactants, the reference temperature and the reaction temperature is the same, so this one are going to cancel out. The reference temperature for the product is 298 kilopascal uh, kelvins, and in the product temperature is 600 kelvins. So these are the same, that's what they're going to cancel out. So now we have to find all the enthalpies. So now that we have all the numbers that we have found on the tables, we can just go back in our question and plug in the numbers. So as I said before, the reference and the reaction temperatures are the same, so we're actually only going to look for the reaction at the formation enthalpy. And therefore, the work is going to be 1 times that plus 1 times this is 0 plus 1 plus this is 0. So it's going to be equal to plus 291.971. And then for the products, what we have to do is we do this number times this minus this times 12, this plus this minus this, so this is like plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, plus, for the products. And then we're going to find it's going to be equals to minus 6166007911. And then that is going to give us a work of. I'm going to write it here, so it's going to be 
one six five seven eight eight o oh, three kilojoule per kilomole. If we divide this by one hour, it's going to be equals to 1,712 kilowatts.